Hey everyone, it's Audrey with Simplifying Tech for Seniors.com and in today's video what I want to do is answer a question that we got over on Facebook. And so it's this question right here, how to set up your sleep mode so that your phone is not waking you up all night, but keep the emergency contact to be able to call. And that is what you're going to learn how to do today. Just a little reminder is that on every one of our video tutorials that we do, we also have a blog post that goes along with it. So if you're more of a visual learner, be sure to check it out in the description below so that you can follow along as we're going through the video. So let's jump right in and get your sleep focus mode or do not disturb mode set up. All right, so from your home screen, what you want to do is just swipe down from the top right and you're getting your control center. Where your control center is, you'll see this focus. So we're going to tap on focus. We're just going to tap on the sleep, relax and get some rest. We're going to tap on customize focus. And now what it's going to do is allow you to pick the people that you still want to be able to get a hold of you. So we're going to tap on people. You can either choose to say silence notifications from this person. So if you don't want to get any notifications from a specific person, you would tap on that one. But for this video, what we're doing is we're setting up notifications to be able to come in from uh, a person or people. So when the sleep focus is on, you'll still get their notifications if they call or text. Okay, so we're just going to tap on add people and you can either search on them by their name. You can scroll through your list of contacts or alternatively, you can tap on the first letter of their uh, name over here to the right. So for me, I want to go ahead and put in um, my husband. So we'll start typing in his name and here he is right here. So I'm going to tap on that. And then I also want to add my kids. So let me go ahead and add them real quick as well. When you're all done, you're going to tap on done. If you notice, these are the only people that I will get notifications from when I am sleeping. If you continue scrolling down, you can also allow calls from, and then you can tap on that and put in either family, contacts, favorites, or everybody. We'll just leave that one alone. And then I do like this, allow repeated calls. So that means if somebody was to call me that is not on this list right here, and they call me two times within three minutes, it's not going to be silenced. So I could get a call from my sisters, my brother, uh, nieces and nephews, or maybe even a friend that there is an emergency and if they do call uh, twice or within that three minutes that it is going to notify me. Now what we want to do is set up what notifications that you will allow or want to allow uh, from the apps that you have running. So what we'll do is we'll click on this back arrow and right here from the sleep focus right here where it says app we're going to tap on that. And now once again, what apps do you want to allow notifications from? If none of them, you don't add anything. So if you did want to, um, you know, allow like text messaging, then you would just tap on that plus button and you would search for your uh, text messaging or your Facebook, your phone. I mean, all of these apps, you can choose which one. Now, if there is something that is time sensitive, if you're waiting for an email uh, from someone and you've marked it as time sensitive, you can you know, click on that a toggle switch and toggle that on so that that notification does come through. I'm going to just leave that off for now and basically just have all of my apps silenced. The next thing that we want to do is tell the sleep focus or our do not disturb the times that we are going to be sleeping and we want it to go on do not disturb. And in order to do that, we need to schedule it in the health app that we have. So what we'll do is we'll tap on set up sleep in health. 
and from here improve health and activity and you've got to go through all of this stuff me i'm just going to say don't share my data i don't want my data shared and now we're going to set your sleep schedule so here's the sleep goal my sleep you can set your sleep goal if you tap on that and you can um you know go 12 hours to five hours four hours but you know they tell you, you get a good eight hour night sleep right so we're gonna just do the eight hours and then scroll up so now we're gonna tell it every day my bedtime is what time you're gonna tap on edit and I'm gonna say the days active, which would be all of them. Um, you can set this up Monday through Friday where you don't want any notifications or anything. It's entirely up to you. I'll do 9 p.m. and then I'm an early riser. 6 a.m. is when I can receive. So I'll do mine from uh, 9 p.m. until 6 a.m. That does say this schedule meets your sleep goal of nine hours. You can also set alarm uh, right here and then you can delete the schedule as well. But when you've got your schedule, you're gonna tap on done. And so you can see it right here, 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. If you, you know, wanna add another schedule, you can add another schedule. If you were to add another schedule, let's say on the weekends, uh, in order to choose Saturday and Sunday, you would have to edit this schedule and take Saturday and Sunday off here. Um, but you could add your uh, weekend schedule here. And then we're going to tap on next. Bedtime reminders, sleep updates require health notifications to be turned on. So you will have to turn those notifications on. So we're just going to follow what they're telling us to do. We're going to tap on settings. Right here where it says notifications, we're gonna tap on that and then say allow notifications. And let's get back to our home screen. Now that we've got the focus for our sleeping at bedtime all set up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it on. So you're gonna swipe from the top right to get our control panel. Don't tap on this button. If you tap on that button, it turns it on. What you wanna do is tap right here. And then to turn it on, we're gonna tap right here. If you tap over here, it's gonna open up this little box. So we don't want that. Just tap right here on sleep, and now you see that it's on. And now, every single night between nine to six o'clock in the morning, the only people that will be able to get a hold of me are those that I chose and anybody that tries to call twice in a three minute period. And that is how you uh, turn on your sleep mode or your do not disturb on the focus mode on your iPhone. If you get stuck or have any questions, as always, leave those questions in the comments section below, and we will be more than happy to help walk you through it. And if you haven't joined our free Facebook group, be sure to check out the link in the description below and come on over and join us. It's completely free. So until next time, y'all be blessed. Bye.